Hi, hello everyone. I'm Mamie and welcome back to my channel. It's all about beauty, fashion, and style on a budget. So today I'm going to be doing a clean girl beauty look. I was actually shocked to find out this is a trend. I'm not on TikTok and I don't follow any stars on social media. I'm basically on my own. So, um, this is how I do my makeup like 99% of the time. I love that clean, fresh vibe. And I thought I would show you how I get the look. Um, I've already done my base makeup. So I'm wearing the Maybelline Green Edition foundation in the shade 50. If you haven't already seen my review of this product, please watch it. I'll have it linked below. And I've concealed with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, this one in the shade Almond. And I've done my eyebrows with another L'Oreal product, the uh, Brow Stylist Definer in the shade, which is this, Brunette, Dark Brunette, this right here. So, my look is going to be very clean, very fresh, and very, very simple. This is the way I do my makeup, like I said, 99% of the time. Because I've already done my base makeup, I'm going to be using the um, this stain. This is my favorite stain of all time. It's called Turkish Rose. And it's made by a company called um, LBCC Apothecary. It's available on Etsy. They have their own website too, but they sell through Etsy and this stuff is made from a um, recipe from 1810. It's completely organic and it's really, really pretty. And I'm gonna put this on my cheeks and I like my makeup to look like me. I don't look like wanna look like another person. I wanna look like a better version of myself um, a little enhanced, a little clearer, but still like myself. And when I wear the stain, as you can see, it's just a beautiful, slight flush to your, to your cheeks. Um, as if you're, you know, been working out or on a nice walk or you've kissed your sweetie and you're naturally blushing. Um, that's the look I'm going for. I'm going to put this on my cheeks and my lips. Unfortunately, this stain is kind of drying on your lips, so I usually put a gloss over it. I don't have one with me right now, so I won't be doing that. But that's it for my lips and my cheeks. And this is where I put on my powder, and I like to use this Revlon Color Stay Blot Powder. It's new and it is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna have a review of this product up soon as well. It's not up yet, I haven't filmed it yet. I plan on it, it takes me a bit. Um, Cause I really wanted to get to know this powder, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. Cause it is honestly my favorite, favorite powder. Let's make sure my under eyes are not um, creasy. It has creased. This powder is so pretty. It mattifies, but it doesn't get cakey. It's just gorgeous. I love it so much. And here's a tip for your under eyes if they're creasy, is to look up into your mirror while looking down like this, and then set like that. And it will not set in the under eye. Um, creases 
and touch it too because if it feels dry then you've set you've used enough powder if it still feels wet then you have not used enough powder so that's just a tip And now I'm just going to powder my forehead, my T-zone, and my chin because that's where I get oily and I don't like it. So I have to set those areas. So I'm just going to set here. Here around the edge of my nose, because that's where I get oily. A little bit in the center of my face and my chin. And now my forehead, and I need a little bit, a little, just a little bit more powder. is it for the face. I mean, that's it. Next is my eye makeup. And I'm going to show you this new liquid She Glam. If I can get the box open. Liquid shadow that I got. It's really pretty. This is the shade. What is it? Gold Digger, I think. I think that's called. Fool's gold, sorry. It's called fool's gold. She ain't nothing but a gold digger. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm done. But this color is really pretty. It's prismatic. Isn't that pretty? Gold color. And I'm going to put this as a wash on my eyes. This kind of shifts between gold and green. And I want more, just layering it up on the lower part of my eye. Isn't that pretty? It's so subtle. So, so pretty. That's it, heavy. And then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. And it is just gorgeousness. Keep more on the side. It's not even. There we go. Let's make sure that's even. I think I put more on one eye than the other. Let's see what I've done. Okay. I think that's good. All right. Okay. And off camera, I am going to do a winged eyeliner because I won't be able to see what I'm doing. And because I'm holding the mirror so close to my face, you won't be able to see what I'm doing either. So I will be right back. Okay, I've done my eye makeup. And for that, I used the Brown Inglot AMC Eyeliner. This is the shade 90, it's dark brown. And something that is indispensable if you're blind like me and you want to do a winged eyeliner, a nail art brush is brilliant. 
Someone else suggested this to me and it works phenomenally for getting a perfect wing, especially since I have hooded eyes. And as you can see, look at that fool's gold brown liner. So subtle, so pretty, exactly what I'm looking for. And that is basically my clean girl beauty look. That's what I do every day. And um, I'm gonna put on some more of this lipstick because I feel like I just need a touch more. And I'm done. If you liked this clean girl beauty look, please, please, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, give me a thumbs down and tell me how I can improve in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Mimi, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.